good afternoon, or I should say maybe this is good morning since we're taping a little bit earlier than usual. And we want to welcome you to the October version of Cannon County Chamber Connection. And of course, this is made possible by uh, DTC3, and they do have Channel 3 on your cable. And we do appreciate them giving us the time to present the events and the people in Cannon County. My name is Carolyn Motley, and I'm the coordinator for the Chamber of Commerce. And my partner over here is Connie Rigsby. Yes, hello there. Welcome. And she wears several hats. I do. It's not a good time to talk about all of them, but it's, it's, I'm a really good, strong partner with the Chamber and uh, excited to welcome everybody to fall. It's, it's already Have you beautiful. had a bad weekend? <laughs> it's, 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 been, it's been a little wild already this week. Uh, we've had our fall conference training for directors across the state, and uh, we, we came back la late last night, and uh, I'm back here today. Got a board meeting tonight, so, and chamber taping today. Oh, you look very good. <laughs> I feel perky because I've got to be. Okay. <laughs> No, but we, we have a lot of things that went on in September, uh, but a lot of things coming up for October. We've got several guests today. We've got a lot of things coming up for November uh, and December. It, you know, it gets into pretty much for the chamber and events around the square in Cannon County, uh, just kind of one right after another. And uh, so we want to tell you a little bit about them. We've got some new businesses in the community. We do. Uh, we've uh, got some new changes going on with some government things. Uh, I know we've got uh, some folks going to be telling us about that here in a few minutes. And But your big event for the Chamber was what, last weekend? Saturday. Well, you it was were great. there, girl. I was. <laughs> um, at 7.30, um, I'll I will tell you, I set my alarm and then it, it didn't go off. And so I woke up and like, so what you saw on that morning was me getting ready in 30 minutes mm -hmm. and driving to Woodbury. Well, <laughs> it, it worked okay because it didn't hamper her organizational skills. Uh, usually the two gentlemen that take charge of the registration, they sit down there, they've done it for years, it goes easy as clockwork. Um, I think they were over there cleaning up their cars. We had a car show and the table got bombarded. We weren't close to ready. Uh, you had me, my daughter, and Connie, and we were all doing the same thing at the same time. <laughs> it was, and it was like, okay, we're not going to start taking registrants at 8. At 7.30, they were all going, can I register my car? That's right. All at the same time, and we were like, if you give me just one second, let me get a pen out, we'll start. But and anyway, Connie grabbed hold of the reins there, and we went with it, and so it all worked out good. Uh, we had uh, about... Well, actually, when the registrations closed, we had 120 cars, but all total, we had about 150 because many of them came after the registration, along with three semis, and that's probably a first. <laughs> that was pretty exciting. I, I can remember uh, this gentleman coming up and going, I have these semi trucks. Can we enter semi trucks with their trucks? Yes, you can, you can enter semi truck. Well, and then I hear one. Carolyn go, not with the tractor truck. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, well, no, Carolyn, I wouldn't have told him that. <laughs> but well, it was. Well, it was a big day. Get them in here. <laughs> but it was beautiful. I, I never seen so many beautiful cars. They were. And there were folks working on those cars, shining up. And the women that came in that owned vehicles and were entering their car. I seen several women oh, that yeah, were we owners of vehicles of and that uh, had entered their cars. So we had a lot of kids. Which was young people, first. yes. We had a lot of kids that came with whoever or just showed up. I'm sure they were with somebody. But um, yeah, it was really good. And these two ladies tied right into that. Yes. Because I they, remember passing out a lot of their cards. They have opened a business on the square and it's called Antiques and More. And we have Trish Frost and Judy Rodriguez. And they are both owners. and. They give away door prizes at our cruise ends. Uh, the people love it, and it's good marketing for them because they have had cards printed up. We give them to each one that enters. They fill them out, but they have taken them back over at the store. 
That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. That was a really good that's, idea. That's a good I know thing. as they were registering, I was making sure that they had, you know, all of their papers, and then I, you know, put that in and uh, said, your wife's going to like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but ladies, new business. I, I, I've been in. We've uh, revamped one of our stores on the square. Okay. And I have to say, you've done a wonderful job. I don't Thank know you. who you've got doing that. A lot of hard work, a lot of people. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of family hard. members been drawn into it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, just I commented today about how nice it is to see the storefronts of people that are not only not owners of the buildings, they may be old buildings, but if you can paint them and fix up a little bit, that says so much for your community when we have visitors go through. Right. We don't look like a distressed area. Our square is pretty. Mm -hmm. Everybody comments on it. I had people for the car show from Livingston, Kentucky, Pulaski, and all of them commented oh, on, on the square and how they like the decorating mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the courthouse. And I've got to give Mike Gannon and also, um, uh, Daryl Fisher, <laughs> golly, what could we do without Daryl? And his boys, yeah. <laughs> and that's the inmate labor, and I don't mind telling you, we'd be hard pressed to put on anything without them. So um, uh, we're just proud to have all of them, but your store looks great. Thank you. Uh, it looks so much better when they were just scraping the paint off. And now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. now that you're adding a little paint, I know I went by the other day and I saw the ladder up there. I don't know if that was you or who that was up the ladder, and I was like, oh, that's going to look so pretty. I was, was going to absolutely it. say, that's going to look so much and, nicer. And it's catching because many of our businesses have done that. People mm -hmm. have taken hold and and done their storefronts better and taken you know taken some care of those old buildings and when and it is catching because your neighbor over there sees that and i think well i probably need to do this too exactly. so that's it means okay. a lot it means a it lot does. to not just your own business and bringing folks in but to the community the whole community so congratulations thank on you. that we really you, do appreciate a business coming in and doing that so tell me What's going on over on this corner there at Antiques and More? Well, a lot of stuff um, other than the new construction and everything, uh, the painting. Um, we've opened up the upstairs yes. a lot sooner than we expected. It's just kind of boomed and um, we've uh, got about 45 vendors now. And um, we are just... Um, and you have a little bit of everything. A little everything. bit of everything, yes. A lot of reef uh, furnished, or re I, I guess it's a new term, a, a lot of the antiques are taking old pieces like beds and things and making benches right. and uh, repainting them, de-stressing them a little bit more and everything that are going just straight into homes as everyday items and not just considered antique. Exactly. So. Um, we try to keep our booths at least 50 percent antique but if you go on the true definition of antique 100 years or more then we wouldn't have much in the store <laughs> so we use a lot of uh, repurposed items like you said and um, judy even makes some of the benches herself and she has done a great job that is a big trend i i, I know you it two is. ladies know about pinterest mm -hmm. Oh, I, I know, like I could well, hours, I, yeah. hours I on Pinterest, Pinterest. <laughs> um, but uh, that is a big thing, and yeah, you see is. all of the different things on TV, and I see a lot of that in your store. And yeah. it was very fun when I went through the other well, day. Yeah. I was going on. Oh, yeah, a lot I of our vendors that. are doing that as well. They they get on there and they bring in pieces, and it really does. It does. It does good. You know. Like and your items are very good price. I have Thank to you. say, I went through not too long ago, mm -hmm. and I was like. These are priced well, so they're priced to move. Uh, everybody will make a profit somewhere and whatever, but really good for the customer too. So, okay. well, you know, Thank you. antiques is in the eye of the beholder. Exactly. They may classify it a hundred years old, but I have a lot of things that probably aren't antiques. They, they're in the category of old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 well, let's not start that now, Carolyn. We, well, they are. They you are know, just I don't know that you'd have an antique, but eventually it'll get there. 
Exactly. <laughs> well, there's That's one right. more room upstairs, up in the very front, that had, uh, I guess it's, you know, boxes where maybe people did chickens or a lot of, I guess, um, farm type equipment. Right, exactly. And uh, I, I love that room. Of course, my husband loved that room too. But that was a really nice, whoever that vendor is, they, mm -hmm. they've got some really nice pieces in there. That room belonged to Trisha and her husband for a while, and then he took one of the chicken boxes and did a beautiful job. He put some cast iron little legs on it. It was gorgeous. Of course, it didn't stay, but just a couple of days and then it went out. But, and a coffee um, table. I yeah, he, he did. He did a wonderful yeah. job on and that. And I think that's the big thing that's going on now. They're taking, you know, these items and repurposing them, you know, in tables and right. things for folks. It's all the rage. It I is. Well, and it is. is the rage. <laughs> and it, so we have a lot for men and women. It's not, and we have probably half and half men, a lot of men come in by themselves shopping, you know, and find, you know, a lot of tools or wooden items or just antiques in general, whatever they collect, you know. Sure well, listen, we had some varmints at the barn one time. I wasn't sure what they were, but I thought they don't need to be here. And we bought some live traps where we trapped mm -hmm. them, you know. Exactly. Come to find out it was a raccoon and two or three possums. <laughs> You had your own family farm zoo going on <laughs> there, it sounds like. But no, I, I know opening a new business is uh, stressful and then kind of getting everything kind of up and going. So, you know, I, I'm excited for you. And Thank I, you. And I really do appreciate, like I said, the cards uh, for the car show. That, that did add That's... a little extra for folks. And uh, very what? smart idea. I don't it know is. whose idea that was. Trisha's. It was Trisha's idea. <laughs> oh, well. Trisha's the brain. Oh, it's just, no, no, yeah, no. She just does the brain work. No, no, no. I don't know about that. But, Maybe both of ours combined makes one. <laughs> well, I know you're a talented artist. You, you do a lot of painting. Yes. And yes. so. I haven't uh, had time to do that lately. You haven't had time. I wonder why. I wonder. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, it's so, so busy. Bad luck. Eventually get back to it, maybe. <laughs> well, you know, that's the whole purpose of having things on the square is for the businesses right. to benefit from that. Uh, really, I'd like for it to be all over town, but especially the, the businesses that are right around the mm -hmm. square. So if you take that first step out there and you can get those people in your store, yes, that's the first step. Then well, they may come back at a later date if they don't buy something right, right then, then, you know. And that's one thing that all the uh, businesses around the square are so great. Um, if we don't have it, we'll you know say go to the feed mill or to antiques on the square. You know everybody works together, and if they have an event, we benefit. If we have a be event, they benefit. So it's just such a great work environment. Well, that's you know? how it should be. Yes, and that's the the best thing I know that we uh, we came to town one Saturday, and I said, okay, we're just going to spend time in in town mm -hmm. and so we went from place to place and I mean we had lunch in town and exactly. uh, you know went into Paul Reed's and several other places we, we spent the entire day right there mm -hmm. and I think that that's something people don't realize that we have it's and becoming more of a destination one friend said that you can you can come and just have lunch and shop all the shops and spend all day. Spend all day. In Woodbury. You can spend the night too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And now yeah. you can spend the night. So yes. yeah, it's yeah. absolutely true. So <laughs> it could almost be a weekend trip. <laughs> it could. It, it really could. could. It really it could. could be. You know, stay up for a play or something like that. Exactly. And definitely make it a, a weekend destination site. So that's a good idea. Well, I do think you that's... have any ambitions for the future other than to do well? Do, do well <laughs> and um, just I don't know, just work hard at it all. All our vendors are the most wonderful people in the world. Everybody works together and just to, if we can keep the quality people we have now, we there's no doubt. So if you wanted to become a vendor, how would you go about doing that? Just call us, come by and see mm -hmm. us. And uh, right now we're, we're kind of limited to space. We've done so well, but uh, we'll always find Trish can find a hole. She has gone up. Yeah. I did that. But the vendors are they're wonderful. They're just yeah. they're just really good people that's there. That that's is a great. good building to have a lot of things. It has a lot of little mm -hmm. areas and spaces for that. But we so. have a garage out back and George and I will start working with an annex building maybe. <laughs> Go, go three stories high. We don't, uh, we don't know. <laughs> but we are doing more as far as um, as soon as the painting's done, we'll be uh, putting the awning up and it will help a lot with the shading and cover there. And then we'll be putting new windows in uh, probably about springtime. 
just mm -hmm. a little bit at a time. So we got a lot of work planned for the Baby building. steps. Baby steps, exactly. <laughs> and we, we were coming into the busy season, this, you know, getting ready. You know, mm -hmm. Carolyn already mentioned, I guess, when we were on in September, how close Christmas is. Right. Yeah. And so uh, a lot of unique items that you can get oh, for gifts exactly. and things like that. And I know that you'll have a lot of that. Well, on. our Merchant's Christmas Open House, is, which is really one of the biggest events for our, t our businesses mm -hmm. around the square, will be... Uh, the week before Thanksgiving. Okay, so that's, right. And that's so that Friday oh, night right will be amazing. And of course, in order to pull this off, and we know it's early, but the town will be decorated for Christmas and all the stores will be decorated for Christmas. So, yeah. Um, yeah we're, we were blown away last year and uh, it was just <coughs> amazing, you know. And I can imagine now in the bigger building, you know, how well it's going to be. We've already put out word to all the family members. You just plan on being coming up. Now. That's your day to be there to help. That's your day to be there to help. Tell them to bring a friend. Exactly. <laughs> well, ladies, welcome to the square. <coughs> and uh, we wish you all the best. And we look to see more and more uh, new ideas there from Thank you, you. Too. Thank We appreciate you. it. Congratulations. Thank you so Partnerships uh, with the chamber and everything on or any events that come in there to the square that's always to your benefit right exactly. i know it's an inconvenience as far as for parking mm -hmm. but with anything that depends on tourism or people coming into the community which can only benefit your your businesses you have to tolerate a little inconvenience right. and parking is one of them right and we realize that so so antiques and more on the square in woodbury open Seven days a week, 10 to 6 daily, Sunday 1 to 5. <laughs> okay. 24-7. Right. <laughs> and we're usually there. <laughs> yeah, we stay late a lot of times. Okay. Well, thank you, ladies. We appreciate you. that. We appreciate you having us. And so, Carolyn, a lot of things that go on in the square, or one of the things kind of affects seniors a lot, and I get a lot of questions about is their taxes and different things like that. So uh, we just had this gentleman on not too long ago no, putting on another he's... event, but he has another hat he's wearing today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is yes. your daily hat, right? <laughs> yeah. This he's is, got the answers. This is Mr. Wayne Prater. He is the Cannon County trustee. And uh, we've got some changes coming about, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, of course, the tax cards have have been mailed, <laughs> the 2013 cards. You should have received them or within the next day or so. And people have started. <laughs> you did? I did. Yeah. Got yours in the mail. They have started paying their taxes. It's a busy time of the year uh, right now <laughs> with uh, the trustee's office. but. Uh, that's, that's what we're there for. And uh, um, I've got several different things to, to talk about. Got a good joke, too, if you've got time. Oh, well, go, yeah, no. we do. <laughs> go ahead. We'll, we'll let you go ahead and get your you joke out. Go do the yeah, joke first. Let's get the joke go first. <laughs> okay. This, uh, I don't know. I remember reading this somewhere. But there was this blonde policeman that was working just outside of town checking traffic. And there was a blonde lady in a little sports car came by speeding. And the blonde policeman pulled her over. And she gets out and walks up to the car and she says, ma'am, I need to see your driver's license. So this lady is looking in her purse, you know, for a driver's license. And she said, hey, I just, I just can't find it. So the blonde policeman, she said, listen, it's, it's rectangular in shape. And, and it's about this wide and about this long. So the blonde goes back and looking in her purse for a driver's license and she finds this little compact mirror. And she looks at it. The lady told her, said, it's got your picture on it, you know. So she looks at that mirror again and, and she says, oh, here it is. And she hands it to the policeman. The policeman looks at it and says, I didn't know that you were a policeman. You're free to go. <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> that is a dumb blonde joke. You do know that, yes, don't you? It certainly is. Oh, is it? <laughs> that is. That is. That's we may have to edit you on that. that I don't know. That's better than the football joke. <laughs> no, I don't know. I like the football you, joke. You I might, you might not good. be able to show that. Hey, these guys do an excellent job, though. They do. Uh, I've watched the uh, uh, 
uh, Watertown and Cannon County football game mm -hmm. the other night. And I think it's on again tonight. But uh, they do a good job. People, they if they don't have DTC TV, they're missing a lot of sports in Cannon County, not only football, but basketball and other things as well. It's really. It's You're really, not going to get this on Channel 5, no. or 2, or 4. No. They You're going to get this on DTC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so back to your business. Yeah, let me uh, <laughs> let me let me say uh, we have uh, in in the past few months we have uh, been in touch with the comptroller's office and we have permission now here in Cannon County to take partial payments on, on taxes uh, for a lot of people that that won't uh, mean anything at all but for a lot of people that that owes a larger tax bill. Coming up with a thousand dollars or so at, at one time is it, it's difficult, but we have it with the computer system we have now. We can issue a re, you a receipt showing what you have paid as far as a partial payment and how much is, is still owed. We would like uh, for you. You have uh, uh, October first, uh, October, November, December, January, February. You have three or five months to pay your taxes without any penalty being added to it. It would be great if you could make those payments and pay it within February, it'll save you money. But if you can't, we'll work with you on, on that as well. Uh, you can divide it up into five months payment or we'll take whatever you want to pay us. And like I say, your receipt will show the balance that is owed. At the end of February, the, the uh, taxes are uh, like next year, 2014, what is not paid uh, will be turned over to the uh, 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 clerk and master's office. That's the uh, 2012 taxes I'm talking about. They always mm -hmm. run a year behind, of course. Uh, and, but we <laughs> actually hold them till the 1st of April before we send them to the uh, uh, clerk and master's office. So you have... Uh, a little better than, than five months before they leave the trustee's office plus the, the following year, you know. Uh, but we will accept the partial payments. Another thing that we have added, I'm, I'm not too happy with it, but uh, we can now take credit card payments and debit card <laughs> payments. But the, the, the problem is the, the fee, not that we charge, but that the company charges for you for using your, your credit card, and it is 2.75%. I know. And, and if your taxes are $1,000, that's $27.50 extra you would have to pay to just, to, yeah, just to use your credit card or, or, or your debit card. But we can accept uh, all major credit cards if you choose to pay your taxes that way. You can also look up online how much your taxes are. If your taxes are paid by a mortgage company, you can look and see if your taxes are paid and so forth. And, and I'm sure somebody, uh, some people will probably use a credit card to pay their, their taxes. A lot of people, I've been told, like to build up their uh, frequent flyer miles and so forth. You know? So that's another uh, thing that uh, we have uh, undertaken to do beginning with this tax season, which is, is underway right now as of the 1st of October. Uh, if you're uh, uh, elderly, disabled, you need to come and, and talk to us at the office if you do not have tax relief. If you, if you think you might qualify for it, you need to come by. If your income, those of you and your husband, those that are living uh, in the house in which you apply for tax relief, if your income is, is $27,800 or less than that, then you might qualify. You have to be at least 65 years old or be, be disabled. And like I say, you, you can receive, and it, it's paid from the state, $158 off of your total tax bill. Uh, to some people, that's not a lot, but uh, to some people, $158 off is when you're living on a limited income and a, a fixed income, that's, that's quite a bit. But uh, 
uh, that is available and uh, we'll work with you in file, filling out the applications and getting the information to you. And the final decision is made by the state of Tennessee. It's not made by our office or anything. And the same applies for uh, uh, disabled uh, veterans and, and, and their widows as, as well. There's tax relief available for them. And that's it in a nutshell. A lot of new things and uh, a lot of changes for your office and staff. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea for the payments, uh, given, you know, that's five months, you know, a lot of folks will get their check and they can budget out this amount mm -hmm. and then next month a little bit. And so it's not all one lump sum. That is very difficult on folks. It, it is, and, um, and it, will, it will help some. I uh, have been reluctant uh, to do that over the years because of, of the uh, systems that we've had. Now we have the computers, you know, and uh, like if, if you choose, you know, you can make five, that means we have to see you five times a year instead of just once. But if it helps, if it helps you or someone else, it, uh, it, it, it will be good. But now with the uh, computers, you know, we can give you a receipt, shows you exactly how much you still owe and so forth. It, it makes a difference. I'm pounding on the table, aren't I? Yes, sure. <laughs> I was getting ready to kick you under the table. <laughs> well, I, I, everybody's getting them in the mail, so they'll mm -hmm. have questions and things. I think this would yep. be some very good yep. information out there. Uh -huh. we had, uh, we've and... had a lot of uh, phone calls already. Uh, you can still, let me say this, you can still uh, Make your payments at the office, our, our, our hours, you know, eight to four, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and a half a day, Saturday, we're closed on, on Wednesday. Or you can choose, if, if you like, to, to mail them to our office. But we ask, uh, beginning this year, and, and this information, we, we had it all set up to be in the courier, but they've had so many things happen over there in the last couple of weeks or so and Mr. West was out sick a couple of days but I did talk to him uh, Tuesday and, and he assured me that, that this information will be in the courier front page uh, this coming this coming week so uh, maybe that will answer some of your questions but uh, uh, we, we wanted to have it all out there for you before the, the first of the month, but uh, well, it's not too late. No, it's not too late. You've got to February. Yeah, got <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that wait to that last day. Yeah. I have been up there. I have, I, I have waited to the last day. Myself. Right, riders <laughs> cramp on that last day. So. Yeah. I think we've all done that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that if you means have any we're questions, progressing. Pardon? We're progressing. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, uh, uh, just give us a call. We'll try to answer it. And like what one. is your number? Uh, five six three two two eight two. Okay. Five six three two two eight two. County trustee is who you're County calling. County trustee. Not Bobby Smith. You're calling him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's been there since Abraham Lincoln. I <laughs> came over on the Mayflower. <laughs> you could <can> print that. <laughs> You've been sitting here very quiet, and very patient. He was taking in all the information, I believe. Well, I'm a. I'm a going to be a taxpayer in, in Cannon County, so I want to know all the, the details. See, did you hear that, Wayne? <laughs> so you, want, you want to get the information straight from the horse's that's mouth. Right. Well, we had him right here. Exactly. Yeah. What, what, that's who you're talking to the horse right there. Yeah. <laughs> Glad he was gone out the I door did. by that time. But, but uh, we have Robert Keith. He is the new owner of Highway 70 South. Building, building surplus. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I went down the, through there the other day and I was noticing items out and flags and things and I thought, are we open for business now? We are. We have a soft opening going on right now and hopefully we're going to have a grand opening on the 18th uh, with the help of the chamber. And uh, we'd like to invite everybody to come down and maybe get a hot dog or a hamburger and a drink and, and just visit the store and see what we have in there that we want to offer the county. And, and, you know, we've got people coming in from McMinnville and Smithville and Murfreesboro now to visit the store just off word of mouth, and uh, we're excited about it. Hey, he's got all your favorite things. And it's a free great location. Food and, <laughs> free food and door prices. Now well, everybody needs to be there for the grand opening, and that would be from 1130 until 1. Yes, ma'am. That and you'll be serving food. That's right. And, you know, we, uh, we've put 
U-Haul in there. The, the proprietor mm -hmm. before us had U-Haul and, and there was a demand for it. So we, we've got U-Haul back in there and we got windows, doors, flooring, all the basic hardware and decor stuff uh, uh, that you need to keep your house going. A lot of maintenance stuff and a lot of building supplies. Our lumber is growing every day and um, we're pretty excited about that and the addition of uh, many storages that we're, we're involved in going in as well. Oh, the ones next door? Um, actually, no, we're building new, new ones. Oh, really? Yeah, we have a plan okay. for well, 128. Have your old town down there, won't we? Well, we'll just be an addendum <laughs> to Woodbury, you know. We, we, we want to be a part of, part of what's going on up here. It's, uh, it's an exciting time for Woodbury and Cannon County. A lot of people don't realize it, but if you ride around, as you were speaking earlier, the square is alive. Uh, this Saturday was certainly uh, evidence of that, and um, it's a nice place to be. We have a lot of people. I know that was a, one of the things at the uh, card show. You know, as I was signing in, people, and yes, there were definitely cars from Woodbury, but so many surrounding counties and as far away as Kentucky and different places were coming in, and uh, they were like, you know, this is just a fun place to come to, and we enjoy the time that we're here, and I think businesses like we had earlier in your business definitely uh, have an opportunity for our folks to spend a day, spend a weekend. There's you know, definitely something to do. And I know the men are going to love this store. I well, like those. I do too, stores. but that's what's I But <laughs> my husband's already said, they're open, we can go. <laughs> we, you know, surprisingly enough, we have quite a few female customers that come through. Right. We, some of the stuff that we get, we're about 50% new uh, and 50% liquidation stuff that we buy. It's, it's basically all new. Uh, just some is um, discontinued stock mm -hmm. or those kind of things. But as well as we've went another step and we've supplied our store with a lot of new stuff uh, with the goal over the next year or two to be 70% new and 30% liquidation. And now we're about the opposite. We're about 70% liquidation and 30% new. Okay. But um, the people in Woodbury certainly need to have that outlet. I mean, folks live here too, and they deserve every break that, that Murfreesboro and other larger cities get. This is a huge store. <laughs> it is. It is. It's a nice it's facility. It's a nice facility for things like that. I remember when it was a loom form. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure if Mike built that building or had it built or whatever at that time. I think there was a partial living quarters in it. I don't know how it is now because then an antique mall uh, took it over. It was a great antique mall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots I, of I never was able to visit it when it was that. Matter of fact, the first time I went in, it was about a, a day before I bought it. Oh, okay. uh, So it, it was a, it was a quick decision um, to buy it, but uh, one that we think will do well, and we're excited about having it. My brother and myself are partners in in the venture, and he handles the day to day. Um, he'd love to see and talk to anybody because uh, I don't think he's ever met a stranger. So be happy to talk and have some fun well, up there. That's how you need to be. Yeah, but we, we do have a lot of things, um, curtains, the, the upper end curtain rods and things like that, uh, uh, that that seem to be more of the women. They find that in our upstairs uh, part of our, our, our sales floor. And sometimes I, they'll be up there an hour. And you, <laughs> you, you'll think they're gone and they're I up there just going through them. and looking. Well, and, so that, that would be me. That would have been me probably <laughs> digging through everything yeah. going, I know there's a color in here that I can have. So. Well, we're shelved and a little more organized than, than, uh, than most uh, uh, bargain places or surplus places are. And we're going to take a lot of pride in keeping things separate and easy and and um, and hopefully a bargain for everybody. And that means a lot to folks as they go in. They may be in a hurry yeah. and they were looking for something and they stop in to check. But be me, I stop in to check and look for one thing and then you know and I, get, I get I get a little others. distracted by <laughs> all of the things going on around me and I'll go oh, find me something this. else. Well, we can't wait for you to come. <laughs> You get the special I'm sure my husband will be excited Bring about it. Bring him too. <laughs> we'll get him out in the lumber. Yeah. But we, we, we carry plumbing supplies and we carry commercial as well as as uh, retail uh, 
doors, windows, laminate flooring. Right now we're gonna have, um, on the 18th, we'll have laminate flooring for 79 cents a foot wow. and up. Um, we're able to buy things in, in tractor trailer loads so we can we can pass that on and we've just not found anything in this area that's able to do that you know and bring that much selection and with the volume that we buy we can we can pass that savings down the line and a lot of the products that you have are like Lowe's discontinued uh, Home Depot so they're they're quality products. Yeah, They're yeah. They're just discontinued type items. That's exactly right. Right now we're getting an influx of uh, lawn and garden, uh, everything from lawnmowers and generators and, and, and lawnmower blades, everything that goes in, in that, that facet. We have a lot of it because it's just that time of year that they're putting Christmas stock out. So we get all of their stock and it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, you and, just uh, waited the just first the little snowstorm down here, and you'll sell all those genera those, <laughs> those generators. Well, we've got several, and we we've got diesels and gas, and we've got all kinds of uh, Dewalt and Makita and different Ooh. kinds of hand tools and and battery powered tools and weed eaters. So come on down. Well, we appreciate you uh, coming appreciate out and telling us about your business. Well, now, our hours. Yes, that's uh, what I was getting ready to ask you. We're we're um, we're closed on Sunday and Monday. Okay. Uh, normally on Mondays we do pickups and handle deliveries, but uh, we're open Tuesday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we get a little oh, longer in the afternoon, and then on uh, Saturdays we're eight to two. And we'd like to have uh, everybody come down any day. And if you just want to drop in and look around, love to have you. We'll get you a cup of coffee and let you do just that. Well, uh, we have the uh, grand opening on the 18th. Right. 1130 to 1. There'll be some food. And uh, we invite everybody to come out. For oh, we do. We door prizes and different things. Just go, go by. Check them out. You never know. You might find something you didn't know you need. You just can't live without it. And if you need to just, uh, if you're not sure that we have it and, and you your time's limited, you can call us at 615-563-6065 and we'll answer any question that you might have. Well, good. Do you have plumbing? We do. We have toilets and sinks and we, we get Ferguson stuff as well. So we've got some upper end stuff in there as well, well as, um, gosh, stuff that's broken that some handyman wants to fix. We got it as well. Oh, Lord, that'd be where my husband would go. He goes, well, I can fix this for a little and nothing. <laughs> he can buy it for a little <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> yeah, but it's broken. <laughs> yeah. well, a little more of nothing with that. And he's where he's he needs to be. I'm, I, I, can, I, know, I know that feeling. I do. <laughs> I do, too. He's, I could have built that. And I thought, yeah, you're good, but you didn't. Mm. So. Well, uh, welcome. Thank you. A big welcome from, we from us welcome. here at the chamber, yeah. and uh, uh, hopefully we'll get to see more of you. And when you've got anything else, just let us know. We'd we'll, we'll love to. Well, we love greatly to have appreciate you. it. Uh, again, we look forward to seeing everybody on the 18th. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I know Carolyn. You know, with all of the events that we've had, you know, just last week, and uh, we we've got an events calendar. This does get to be our busy time of the year. Well, <laughs> anymore it doesn't let up. I'm I mean, about say, that, do you not? It starts in probably April is where it kicks off, and it goes clear through, well, December. Yeah. We have a lot of events. You have the Christmas gala. Mm -hmm. We're already December. starting, starting on that. We have Lions Club Days, which is the first Saturday of December, and you have Pancakes with Santa starting in the morning, then the Christmas parade, and then the tour of homes. And we're doing Coats for Cannon again this year. Yes, and that really is this month. Uh, if anybody has a, and now in good condition, used coat and make sure it's clean. If you'll take it to Sue Patrick's office at 109 Leicester Street, uh, they'll give these away in November. Uh, they will go to needy, there's no qualifications. If you need a coat, if anybody in your family needs a coat, they're gonna be there. But if you've got one you'd like to donate, we always need donations for that. And this is one of the Lions Club community projects. And of course, we all know the Lions Club does a lot. We did this last year, 
had a huge turnout. We did. I, we, I, I <coughs> can't remember the number of coats that we give out, but we got such uh, wonderful little letters back from children that uh, received coats. Even during adults. The event, and some adults it. that got yes. coats. I know uh, one adult that uh, got a business jacket for work and was very happy and pleased with that. That was a great addition to their uh, wardrobe. So. And they're all sizes, so anything you've got from children on up to seniors, if uh, if you don't have a need for it anymore and um, you'd like to take it down to be put in this, uh, we're not buying them. It's free, but you get that warm and fuzzy feeling when you do that. So yeah. you need to bring them on down to Sue Patrick's office and we'll give them away in November, the Lions <laughs> Club, and we will. That'll be good. Now, I know uh, that there's been some folks going out to some football games. I know DTC has been taping some of those football games. Uh, I've heard a couple of people that they're not just talking about that, but we have our homecoming coming up. We do on the 11th. October the 11th is uh, we're playing Livingston. Livingston. What is Livingston? Are they the? Do they have an airplane? Are they the airplane? I can't remember. Uh, the Jets, Livingston Jets? No, it's not Jets. Oh no. What is Livingston? We'll find out. That's a trivia game for right now. You call I in the know, chamber. They, they always play our homecoming game, and you'll see one of them on a float, believe me. <laughs> Something to do with Livingston <laughs> will be on a float. So Friday, so. October 11th is that game, and uh, we welcome you all to come out to that. I know there will be a lot of festivities. I'm sure they'll have the parade for the they school, will. and this, all the grades the will be pep, um, pep rally, pep rally on, the square. on the square will be there, too. You know, we, we like all that. That's It'll be fun. That, that is all of fun. We like it. So. Uh, I love driving through the square and seeing all the homecoming queens. The, you know, they've, they've, all the kids have made their floats and they've competed against each other. Everybody kind of comes downtown and uh, we do a little rally for them. Well, for that night. if you drive through there right now, you're going to see some scarecrows because they're back. Yes. I put mine up. Square. Well, I took mine down. I don't know if they put them up yet. Um, there were several up. I'm not. Did yours look like the old crows? Mine was the old crows. Yeah, How did I did you see know? it. I seen it. Well, I will tell you. Um, <laughs> I just recently came back from Gatlinburg, and while we were there, uh, they had all of their fall festival things out, and there were these two old crows in a wedding outfit at, in front of a chapel, a wedding chapel. And I took a picture and I said, this would be perfect. I'm going to go back to the senior center and we're going to build two old crows for our, our scarecrow for the square. Well, and so I came back and I, I, I made the announcement in, in the cafeteria. I said, now look, I'm not going to get a dirty letter or somebody going to give me a, you know, a mean phone call that I'm calling you old crows when I go to fix this. And they were like, no, that's good. That's perfect. So uh, see last year and they'll be back in it. Potter's Ace Hardware oh, that was, so was good amazing. They had a scarecrow on a ladder. He was I still falling haven't too. I figured out how, how they did that, but it was amazing. And um, Reed's Builder Supply had a great one too, yeah. you know, and then Joe's uh, restaurant, I think Rhonda did theirs and theirs was real interesting. It had a plumber's theme, but it was, <laughs> It was very interesting and probably one of the cutest ones on the square. Yeah, really. I remember that one. Yes, I know. I know. We won't talk about it, but we remember everybody that. remembers, remembers that, that one. one. Well, I just so. was recently down at the Arts Center and uh, they are doing Sweeney Todd. Right. So their scarecrows are based off that play, and that's a very kind of, you know, yeah. scary play, blood and gore. And so I. I was asked, is this too gory? And I said, well, it's Halloween. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit of scary. <laughs> it's about scary Frankenstein and stuff. So um, <laughs> definitely uh, get out and go see those. But that is something to go and do. It is. Uh, the, I, if they're not see. all up yet, uh, they were all supposed to be up uh, by this week. So go drive around the square, look at your favorites and everything. Uh, and this, don't be afraid to tell somebody you like it yeah. because they, they take a lot of pride in that. We put a lot of work in it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> It was a lot of work put in that. But uh, that is something fun to come to town, just to go around, drive around, and see that. A lot of comments about that last year. That was probably it one was of the... It was fun, too. It was. And, you know, just it's a little competition. Of course, we did this with the chamber one year, and we put them all over town. Yes. Well, two mm. of them got burnt in the bonfire. And one hung uh, off the... And one... No, two of them were hanging off the bridge going to Auburn town. <laughs> so they... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they kind of didn't make it all the way there. I think we got them a little more secure I now. Hope, I hope so. Evidently, those weren't. <laughs> but we we were. do have a little bit more security where they're at now and a little bit more of that. But come out and see that. You will enjoy, bring your family, drive around town and yeah, see. Yeah, it's just fun to look and walk around. Don't drive and around. And thank you to the around. businesses that um, Take are their time yeah. and energy because it Today. takes a little bit to do a scarecrow or maybe my daughter and I put too much into it. I don't know which, but it took us a while to do this. It sure did. It's not, it's not as easy as it says. Now, I, on uh, October the 9th, uh, the Cannon County Senior Center is having uh, its annual health fair. This is open to the entire community. We're going to be doing blood work from 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning, done by Stones River Hospital. They're one of our major sponsors for our health fair, uh, them in Riverside. So we invite you to come out. I think we've got 30-plus vendors that are going to be here. There'll be door prizes. There'll be lunch. We'll have speakers that will be in talking about all kinds of different health uh, health events uh, for you to keep Cannon County healthy and safe and uh, we encourage you to come out to that but that is on October 9th it's a Wednesday morning uh, we begin about 730 and we finish up by noon and uh, I, it's always a fun day for us because we get to meet a lot of partners that service Cannon County and it's a great place for you to come and find out uh, the health Issues. health products that are available to us here in, in the community and thanks to stones river hospital for uh helping us out with that event this They're year always a big partner they are a big that, partner with us well let's see what else we have uh, october the 24th the industrial board and the chamber of commerce is hosting an industry appreciation dinner evening. at the blue porch that's going to be fun and it is the deadline to submit your bio sheets and you got those in the mail, the industries that we have, um, is the ninth, And so you need to have those back um, into us so that you can, ha the, the paper has agreed to do a write-up on each one of the, of the industry that we do have. And you know, even though it may not be big industry, it's our industry, and it, a lot of people from Cannon County that work there. So we need to show them that we do appreciate them being here. You've got Crane, you've got Global, you have several machine, machinist uh, type businesses. They're small, but uh, some of them have really unique services that will amaze you. And so when the courier comes out, you need to read that what the bios of these businesses, these industries do, and you'll be surprised at what we have right here in Kennett County. But I've always said that about a lot of things that we have in Kennett County that people don't know about that they're always surprised to find out about. <laughs> uh, really, you know, we have draws that bring people in from everywhere, the Readable Mill being one of them. The Art Center is certainly one of them. And then you have the distillery, whether you are a drinker or not, it brings people in and that's the, uh, the uniqueness of it. And I mean, not just people from around here, it brings in people from Europe yeah. that come in there. You know, this is a small community. This is a small county to have that type of tourism potential that we have in Cannon County. And so <clears throat> we need to take advantage of all that because tourism adds to your bottom line. You want those taxes to stay as low as they are or go down, then the more tourism you have, the better chances of that happening. So I and think of that that's one of the things that the chamber works on. You know, that's the reason we have the events on the square. Uh, we encourage other organizations to have events uh, around that's the right. community is to bring those folks in because most of the time they come in, they think, wow, you know, they're they're really impressed with what we do and they come back and spend those dollars and that's stores right. and, and different things. Uh, so. You know, our antique stores uh, around the square or anywhere in the county and we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. uh, people spend a whole day just going from one to the other, and they don't compete. If people come into Antique, 
they don't want to just go to one. They want to go to however many you have. Yeah. And and we do pretty well at that. <laughs> we do, we do. Uh, well, one of the things that uh, this industry, you know, is bringing those folks together, thanking them for having businesses here in our community. And I think that's really important uh, sometimes is just to say thank you for keeping your business here and uh, opening up businesses here in our community. And so... Uh, Kudos to those folks. I know you've worked a little bit uh, with the industrial board on doing this. I have. So. Now, this is mainly for the industry part. The businesses uh, down the line, we may uh, do a thing for them as well because that's, that's as important to our community as anything. Uh, our industry supplies products, but they also hire people. And if you need jobs and you can work at home, you may be able to accept a little less in pay to be able to work and not have to spend it all on gas to go back and forth to work. But I mean, that's things you, you have to look at. Um, you know, another thing, we always try to help our neighbors. It, it's kind of that thing of working together. And one of the big draws in our area are the lakes. And of course, Smithville is full of them. And so when people come to County County and they say, well, I like to fish or I like to boat, I send them to Smithville because they can accommodate that. And Edgar Evans State Park uh, is holding their history hayride, which will take place in September, no, on Saturday, October 12th. <clears throat> they will have 10 wagons that will leave at staggered times. Starting at 2 p.m., you need to call them if you want to reserve your seat. Uh, you can call them at 931-858-2114. They're looking for a man to play the part of a Confederate soldier. I'm not sure where the one went that they had, but they need one. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting the word out. If, that's, if you're a history buff and you'd like to uh, help them out this year, um, they, they, they always have a good themed event. And so if you and are you're, a Confederate soldier buff, they right. need you. Now you're going to need the garb. You're going to need a suit and a hat and a. But I'll tell you who you can call if you're interested. This is dead serious because they do this every year, and it's a big event for them. Uh, Anna Bertram lives right here in Cannon County, and her number is 765-5357, and she will tell you exactly what they're looking for if you'd like to be part of that. Uh, the Fall Color Cruise. That was a boat cruise that usually takes place, um, I believe it takes place in November. It's that full. is full. There's no more seats for that. So it's always a fun event. They do a lot of <coughs> they do a lot of uh, neat things up there. They and do. I, I remember. I think when we first started this, how many wagons they're up to? That they, you know, they definitely they didn't have two. They didn't have ten. <laughs> let me just say they didn't have ten. But uh, so they, there's still a few spaces left on that historic uh, ride. So if you were interested in that, give them a it's call. It's a hay ride and it's fun. And I think they probably have food involved in that too. Well, there's so always food. That's uh, they, well, yeah, you have to have that. There's a new display down at the Art Center. It is. They are working down there so hard, y'all. They, they have repainted. They're redoing the galleries. They're redoing the exhibits. It's amazing what work goes on down there. I didn't really realize that until they moved my office to the <laughs> Art Center. And now I do uh, realize that. Um, their new exhibit is called Woven. And, of course, I'm sure that that's kind of self-explanatory. They will have um, artwork such as textiles, basketry, antique quilts, and much, much more. And um, you can come in. It will be in the gallery. You'll be able to view this through November, I'm sure. Um, also, another thing that you might do while you're down there, or you can give them a call, is they're already booking seats for their Christmas dinner show, which is always a great event. And uh, this year's uh, title for that is Christmas My Way Sit, which I'm sure you know that Frank, Frank Sinatra is going to have something to do with that. <laughs> I think so. I think that's part of the thing. And then you have dinner it. by the Blue Porch, and uh, that's that's worth going for right there. But you can always contact the Art Center at 563-2787.
Wow, just a lot of things to do. And we've just about used up this whole hour. It Talking only... about things <laughs> yeah. going on in Cannon County, I'm always impressed uh, <laughs> with uh, what we can do here and with small and working together for a lot of things, supporting our local teams, our lines clubs, uh, our businesses and our industry, our uh, our government officials, and I hit the table. It's going to be a big boom on your uh, t um, TV. We needed that. We needed a big boom at the end of this show. <laughs> Fireworks going off in the background. But again, uh, the chamber has done a really good job. I know that uh, you just came off of the car show, and I know that's the big event. That's really our, our only fundraiser. I mean, we help with a lot of events in yeah. Cannon County, and of course, the Senior Center does a lot of events of their own. We do. We you do. know, and we try to partner with as many as we can. Also, at the Arts Center, you mentioned it while ago, October 18th through the 27th, Sweeney Todd. Blood and gore, huh? It is. It's arts. a very good play, though. I mean, it, it's perfect timing for October and everything to, to be going to watch Sweeney Todd. I definitely think... Uh, Scarlett and them would have a big time, you know, hey, anytime those, they can get in there and really act good. Uh, those <laughs> ladies do a lot. I mean, they rehearse, they have uh, auditions. They, there is something there all the time. Well, right now, I think there's four four different main events, practicing or playing mm -hmm. or rehearsing. Uh, at the, and of course, you're trying to get in all of the gifts and everything for the holiday season. So there's just- a And they have there. a nice gift shop and their bazaar will be coming up, mm -hmm. uh, their Christmas bazaar. Well, we ha and I will say uh, the Senior Center, uh, each year we do our uh, gala, our Christmas mm -hmm. gala. Our theme- I love the gala. The theme this year is oh. home for Christmas. Home wow. for Christmas. Carolyn's writing it down because she's <laughs> going to come up with a table. Uh, but tickets will go on sale mid-October and uh, we are looking for hostesses that would like to host a theme table, decorate that and uh, do dessert and everything. And we'll also be selling tickets. Our entertainment this year is Debbie Vaughn and band. Oh, uh, she's we good. are gonna be doing uh, all traditional home music with some fun things. They're gonna come in costumes. Um, it's gonna be fun. It's really gonna be fun. We, we have a silent auction during that night. Tickets are $25 a piece. Uh, all of those funds go back to support the activities we do here at the Senior Center. And I just have to say, we had our um, conference this weekend for across the state. And uh, it's very impressive to listen to, you know, we, talk, we hear from folks in the Nashville area and the Knoxville area, you know, they have more funding than small centers like we do. But I, I was very impressed by some of the smaller centers that are doing some great things and bringing folks in. Of course, our center, I have to pat ourselves on the back. We always try to stay above um, the fray <laughs> and, and bring things to our community, here. so. I think we have, this is, a, Wayne was right. Our, our, our senior center is something to be proud of. Well, I, I appreciate that. I'd put us that. up against any big well, city. Yeah, big I would too. I, we, you know, we, we uh, really do try to uh, bring great programming uh, and think outside the box. And uh, we, we, with the health fair, bringing in a lot of folks to the community to just kind of show what is available. You don't have to drive 10,000 miles to go to a lot of this stuff. You know, just having our Stones River Hospital here, I mean, uh, I, I noticed that, that uh, Dr. Van Winkle over at the hospital just got, you know, a, a large award uh, for uh, some of his Surgeon. practices. Yeah. And uh, they do a lot of, we've got a new uh, Don't CEO. let the name fool you, Van Winkle, don't let that fool you. <laughs> I always you. thought he should have <laughs> been in the sleep department, but he's not. <laughs> but, um, and I told him that. But uh, Stones River Hospital is a wonderful place uh, here. We have a new CEO, Sue Conley, and her staff are working miracles over there. And I really, truly hope that uh, you're dead. not sick. But if you do get uh, a little ailment, the flu is already out there, uh, that you will uh, go by and uh, let them uh, my take care shot. of you. We are giving the flu shot out at our health fair on October the 9th. Fred's Pharmacy will be here and Tim Makers will be here. Shooting them up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've run out of time, and okay. we just want to wish everybody a safe and happy Halloween. 
and we'll see you next month and we'll be talking about our christmas open house on the square which will be the 22nd happy fall y'all